Yo, what is up, guys? Boris here, and I'm back today uh, with another One Piece Theory video for you guys. This one is a request from uh, someone from my previous video uh, who asked me to uh, give my opinions on uh, as to whether Momonosuke is based off of the character of uh, Momotaru. And for those of you guys who don't know the legend of Momotaru, he is known as the Peach Boy in Japan, and it's a very popular legend that dates back to the olden times. Essentially, the legend goes that um, these, these, uh, these, uh, old, this old couple, uh, they find this kid uh, who they named the Peach Boy, and uh, the whole legend is, is the boy growing up and, and going to an island of what they call um, Onis, I think, or demons, and essentially he pairs up with a, with a group of a dog, a, uh, a monkey, and a pheasant, and together they take down the Oni or the demons. Um, and they you know live happily ever after. So, uh, very 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 popular uh, legend in Japan for sure. And um, you know we're, I'm gonna see, you know show you guys the similarities between the two and whether I think uh, he's based off him or not. Um, now to start off, you know the first thing obviously is uh, the way that uh, the samurai are drawn in, in One Piece, uh, especially uh, Momonosuke. Uh, he, you know, his head looks like a peach, <laughs> and all, you know, it's it's probably shaven because of its tradition uh, in Wano Kumi. But uh, he looks like a peach, so definitely right off the bat, you can tell he sort of, you know, does connect with the Peach Boy aspect. Now, when it comes to the three characters, um, you know, you have um, Kinemon, uh, which you know, simply say it's the dog. Uh, you have we saw Conjuro, and he drew a bird the first time we saw him. So. Uh, that could either be the pheasant. To me, he looks like a monkey, so I don't know. And then, the, you know, there's a third samurai for sure. And uh, when we meet him, um, you know, he might end up being the monkey or the pheasant. So, I mean, I don't know about that. But, um, you know, there is there are three samurai, you know, that are accompanying this kid, you know, who looks like a peach. And, um, you know, if you look at the island that we're on now, they're fighting the heavenly demon. So... You know, there, there's that, and of course we're gonna get Kaido at some point. Maybe he's, you know, the big, you know, big demon. Um, so, uh, you know, l let's say that this legend is based, or let's say that Momonosuke is based off of the legend of Momotaru. Uh, one cool thing that I would that, that I would like to see would be maybe what if you know we know that uh, Doflamingo works under Kaido and he's known as the Heavenly Demon. Uh, one cool theory would be that you know that I'm think that I thought of would be what if he has multiple people with that kind of status, with a demon status, like the heavenly demon, the earth demon, you know, the, the uh, you know, <laughs> whatever, the water demon. It'd be cool if Kaido had a ton of, like, demons working right under him, uh, the same status as Doflamingo. That would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, that probably won't happen, but, um, you know, that's just something that I like to personally see, and, you know, would give the Straw Hats a run for their money. <laughs> so, that'd be really cool. Uh, however, uh, and, and and you know that would add to the whole demon thing where they go to the island of demons and you know and and kill them all off, so that would be pretty cool. And uh, again, like I said, <laughs> that probably won't happen though. Probably just the flamingos just the heavenly demon. But um, you know, so there's that. Uh, another thing to point out is that Kinemon, uh, Kin means gold, uh, and, and so he's sort of like the gold guard uh, or the guard of the gold. And so essentially that would be, you know, he's guarding uh, Momosuke, um, who essentially is seen as, as, you know, this trump card that Doflamingo is trying to acquire. And he, you know, he wants to be a shogun. He's probably related to the shoguns of Wano Kuni. So he's definitely seen as this sort of gold that, that he has to protect. Um, so, you know, there's that. But, you know, if, if we're going with the gold, then there's another character, very popular in Japan, uh, known as the Golden Boy. And the golden boy, uh, he has a sort of a similar thing where he grows up and becomes really strong. Um, and he's a very popular uh, legend in Japan. Uh, you see it in a lot of shows. And, and then the thing about it is that in One Piece, there's a character who's actually physically designed like the golden boy. And this is this is going to be Bex 26's theory. I'm not going to cover not even a lot of it. I'm going to just briefly cover some of the things that are related to this. But I will leave the, th the link down below. It, it does revolve around the fourth, his theory on the fourth admiral. And, um, you know, there's a lot of complicated stuff in there. I'm not going to cover <laughs> like almost any of that. But I will leave it down below if you guys are interested in that. Um, but I just want to briefly say this because, um, 
Mom, uh, sorry, what's his name? Uh, I just forgot his name. Uh, the the guy I was talking about. The uh, sorry, sorry. Um, Sentamaru, <laughs> Sentamaru. Sorry, Sentamaru is physically based off of the Golden Boy. They are almost physically uh, you know, exactly the same. You put a picture of them. I, I should have put these pictures, but you know I, I forgot to. But put the pictures up together. They're pretty much the same character. Um, not only that, but uh, you know, when it comes to Sentamaru, there's something also very pe peculiar when, that revolves around uh, the character of Momotaru, which we were talking about, and that is that he, you know, we know that the admirals are also based off a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, and Akainu, a Kizaru, and Aokiji, the first three admirals. So, um, you know, we have a fourth person who, you know, is kind of hangs out with them. I think he's the grandson of of, of Kizaru. Uh, he, you know, is would be sort of the the, the Peach Boy because his Sentamaru's name actually contains the word Peach um, Boy. I think a Peach though is in the in the kanji form of it. It's not in the uh, normal Japanese. It's in the kanji. So, you know, but his name does contain Peach, and then you have the three uh, the friends who are accompanying him. So there's you know when it comes to Momotaru, you know you can definitely see it in um, Momonosuke, but you know it's all, it's almost more prevalent in the character of Sentamaru. And and you know again there's the whole golden boy where Sentamaru looks like golden boy, and then Momonosuke is being guarded you know as as though he's gold uh, by uh, Kinemon. So uh, you know there's that. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. You know, he, Back 26, you know, has a theory that he will become the fourth admiral, and tomorrow will, uh, and that you know, be, uh, you know, we have three primary colors, and then we have two secondary colors, so we're missing um, orange. So, uh, is it orange? <laughs> Let me make sure. Um, we have purple, and then we have green. So yeah, orange, um, which he believes that we'll, we'll see at some point. Uh, probably will, but uh, you know, I'll leave it at that. Uh, you guys can check it out down below. But um, very, very interesting. You know, I, I, I really think that we have to wait uh, until we get to see the third samurai. And the third samurai looks like a monkey or a pheasant. Uh, probably, I mean, that's, that's the thing. To me, Kanjuro looks like a monkey, but he drew a bird, so he could represent the pheasant. I don't know yet. But, you know, until we see the third samurai, uh, or once we see the third samurai, and, we, you know, if he looks like any of those two or has any relationship to, like, a pheasant or a monkey, then we're pretty much guaranteed that the Momonosuke, um, you know, is pretty much uh, based off of the of the uh, legend of Momotaru, the Peach Kid, and um, you know, we'll then we'll definitely see some more demons of some sort as we progress through the you know through Kaido and up to you know the the several islands that he controls or that he's it, it has influence over. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, are you? Is there anything else that I'm missing? Maybe you guys uh, that I that you guys know that I didn't see. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to like the video if you guys liked it. Um, make sure to check out my One Piece playlist for any other uh, theories that you guys have missed. And uh, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.